Hello and welcome back to SirKentSaid.com. I know, right? It's been a minute since I had the little drinky drinky while I made a uh, review. But with this week's review, unfortunately, I needed a drink. Hmm. How many of you were all excited about uh, legendary action director John Woo remaking one of his old films, The Killer? John Woo is a an iconic action director uh, from China who has done such movies as Hard Boiled, just classic, that hospital shootout, holy shit snacks up. The tea house shootout, oh my God. Red Cliff, fantastic period piece. I highly, highly recommend it. Um, it's when he does uh, period pieces, when Donnie Yen does period pieces, um, they are always top notch. Um, and I'm gonna throw this in the same mix, Face Off. It's a guilty pleasure, but it is a John Woo flick. And I'm gonna stand by that. Yeah, it's a guilty pleasure. So yeah. So it concerns me and it hurts me when he makes something like this. I mean, just I, I, I don't I don't even know where to start. Yes, I do. Casting. Casting for this movie was a disaster. Okay, first of all, hot as she is, you had the chick from um the House of Dragons and fucking what else she did? The fast movies. She does not scream action star to me. And it was apparent in all of the cut takes that they had to use in order to hide her lack of ability to do action in this movie. It's, it was just obvious. It was too much. And there was one particular thing that I'm not going to point out where you could clearly see it was her stunt double. Um, yeah. Charlie Theron has set the bar and you didn't even come close to it. Sorry, hotness. And then the black guy, I, I don't even know who he is. Come at me in the comments. I, I don't know who that motherfucker is. So, yeah. I... I <sighs> If I were to cast for this remake, I would have gone with people with a proven history of action, ability, and who could do at least 30% of their own stunts. Uh, first in mind, if you wanted to keep it Asian, uh, would be Kim ok -bin from the villainous, um, excellent, excellent uh, assassin uh, movie, Chick Led. As a matter of fact, it was so good that one of the scenes from John Wick 3 was stolen from her movie. That's how good it is. Um, Sasha Lust from Anna. 
looking at this hot, skinny little chick, you wouldn't have thought she could throw hands. But believe it or not, just like Charlize did, both of these women did like 70% of their own stunts in both of these movies. So you would have been a lot better off going with them. One of them. Um, as far as if you wanted to stick with a uh, black detective or policeman or whatever in France, Reggie from Bad Boys 4. Reggie looked like Black John Wick in that uh, house shootout scene. If you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. This boy has got a future in action flicks. You could have picked Reggie. Or Michael Jai White. I mean, he's like Batman. He knows every martial art on a, on a planet. Maybe some alien ones. Let him do it. But anybody would have been better than whoever that dude was. Tell me in the comments. Um, and the action. There were there were obvious signs. It was John Woo movie. Pigeons, a church, a lot of slow mo. Um, the over use of bullets on one target. You know how he just dumped like an entire magazine into one dude, even though he was probably dead like four rounds ago. Yeah, there was that. Uh, you had all the telltale signs of a John Woo flick. Only it, it, because of the actor's inability for the roles that they were cast in, it just took me out of. I, I I wanted to like this better than I did. I really, really did. It's John Woo. I wanted to like this better than I did. But I am very, very glad I did not invest in like pie and in order pizza for this because when I order pie, it costs like 40 fucking dollars. So that's an investment. Um, overall, I cannot recommend you waste your valuable television, streaming fucking time on this unfortunate turd. I mean, the female lead, uh, Emmanuel, or however you say her name, was hot to look at. We really could have gotten her a little bit topless of her. You know, let's see them titties. Let's see that ass. That never happened. The male lead, uh, he was there. Uh, overall, this is going to be one of my lowest rated movies that I am not going to recommend. And it's going to, for the year, be just above The Flash with Ezra Miller, as far as I'm concerned. And I'm going to give it a six, and I am not going to recommend this turd. I'm sorry, John. I am. I love you, but this was just not one of your better fucking works on me. You've got to do better. You've got to do better.